partner has distance. He created distance. Okay? And some people, they can operate when the guy's passing low. They have a hard time operating when they get up on their feet. Okay? Let's work the second situation first. So I want uh, Guilherme to be in posture and change, yeah, change your stance, yes. The only thing I want to do here is 201, right off the bat. That's number one. Now, do you see how my hip is loose? Anytime Guilherme holds my leg, just going to hold my leg, push my leg down, yeah. He can easily, go ahead and pass, yeah. He can easily set the pass without a problem, okay? So two things I want you to do. It's not that you're defending the guard. You're trying to get whatever you can get. So here I have no, no neck control. Okay, so as he stands up, same thing again. I, the only thing he gave me was a two-on, go ahead. Here now, I do what we call the spur. Now, he's kind of close, so I could have trapped his leg. But here, all I'm trying to do is keep a spur. My hip is off the ground. So if he tries to push this leg again, it takes a little longer for him to push there, okay? What I want in this position here is a sharp turn to get the hip. See, if I control the arm, I want the same hip. And if I can, I will try to go for the shoulder here. And my goal now is to keep my hip elevated at all times. So if you try to use this arm here, yeah, see how I have my knee connected to your arm? If my leg is separated, he can put his elbow down. He can mess me up easy, okay? And by elevating, here right now, it's easy for him if he wants to move his leg, his hand around, he can get rid of my leg with some ease. Go back. So when I elevate, if he tries to move again, go ahead. It takes a little longer. Do you see how I kind of stretch him more? That gives me now a chance to kind of reset this grip, and then I do the same thing. So now if Guilherme tries to move, move a little bit, Guilherme. Look, I'm hanging on him. You see, I want that hanging effect. The knee touches the arm, the foot is on the hip, and my other foot is really tiptoed, pushing his arm in. You got it? As soon as that happens now, I want to bring his stance down. That's the second part. I will push my knee against his arm here. Look how I lift him. He's already moving forward. I clamp here and he don't come to me as i get his head low i'll start wiggling and kicking against his knees look he's coming down boom he's down sorry it took a little longer because he's very tall okay and as soon as the guy's down here boom the neck is in because he's gonna have to use those hands not to collapse so it's likely that his hands are gonna be spread out if that's the case you know i'm gonna go here and therefore here is that an evening grip so even grip Crunch, lift, and wiggle. The guy tucks the chin, you go high, tuck here, pull a little bit here, boom, connect. Do you see how I did the, the tuck your chin, please? Uh, when I go here, look, I pull down and I put a little pressure. The wiggle here helps shake, you know, look, the loop is right there. And therefore here you go for the kill, okay? So we're gonna break down that in two steps, of course. All I want to see right now is, even if your opponent can shake off and pass your guard, my whole goal is that you can be ahead of the game instead of reacting to his pass, okay? So when he goes for the pass, one more time, please. Uh, the guy on top, yeah, try to get a, a, a control that you have. Mid control, sometimes you control the sleeve, you control the waist, and then you get yourself up. The other person, I just want to see this. Hands in, he stands up, go ahead. I open my leg, I spur, sharp turn. Now bend your elbow a little bit. Don't give me this, the, the, the entry. See, if the guy bends the elbow, you're gonna extend your hip. Look, I separated his elbows and I can get it anyways. Then without kicking anybody in the face, over there, you stay here for a little bit. The key point here, this knee has to touch the arm. If I keep separated, I won't have it. So here I'm much stronger, move a little bit, much stronger. Then eventually from here, I let go, control, same thing again. Okay, and that's all I want you to do, just this part. For the more advanced, if you want to follow up, stretch your leg and put your knee right under the person's arm and bend your knee, bring him up. And as you kind of get him down here, he's already coming. We go and kick his legs, you know, and then for him, push his knee down, you know, and get him in the guard. You got it? Yes.